welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we will see how to use auto trace command in SOLIDWORKS and import any kind of drawing from the desktop or anywhere and just uh, create a simple geometry with the help of any kinds of picture see here we took a Twitter picture and uh, we will create a simple Twitter geometry here so let's see how to do is in SOLIDWORKS with the help of auto trace command so now let's start here and we will see it here how to use auto trace command and make a simple geometry or we will make any kind of geometry with the help of a portrait or a picture so let's do one thing select our plane sketch now here we selected our sketch now we will import any kind of picture so you have two options one you, you can see in your right side upper right side you can just uh, write it here a sketch picture and here you will find out the sketch picture command if you will select then it will automatically pop up a window and here from here you will select your picture okay now se the second option you will find out here go to tools sketch tools and comes down and here you will find a sketch picture now let's choose our one picture this Twitter sample now once you selected this picture see from here you can uh, fix the distance 50 by let's say 200 and let's say 45 degree it's up to you whatever picture you like even you can increase the picture 800 or anything it's up to you 650 now make it 0 degree uh, I'll make everything 0 now here we don't find any auto trace option so what we have to do just cancel it and go to here option drop down this menu and select here add-ins once you go to add-ins here you will find auto trace see if you comes down SOLIDOX add-ins select here auto trace ok now once you selected the auto trace just double click on the picture and uh, your window will open now here uh, we will select it you will see here one option next select next now this is the auto trace mode now here you will find out many options like use to select rectangle area use to select free hand area then polygon then color pick up and drop so let's say rectangle area in rectangle you can select any kind of rectangle in the second option free area just press and uh, drag your mouse and you will make your geometry with free hand now the third option is polygon place one point second point third point fourth point six seven and this is the one of the method now but very important and very useful method is used to select color click and select this color now this color is selected by the SOLIDWORKS and it will give the geometry uh, according to color difference select here begin trace see you can see it here it uh, gives you line according to color difference background is white and the main color is light blue uh, now there is some options you can uh, change the uh, brightness of image see image brightness keep it so that we will get a better uh, adjust according to your image contrast okay that's fine color tolerance that's also fine recognition it's keep up to your okay okay that's uh, tolerance is better now select here apply now once you click apply the geometry will be apply and uh, you will select here okay now once you select here okay you can see the line right click on the plane just suppress now the drawing is gone and you can see it here the picture it's a closed geometry because uh, our drawing is simple so here we make a simple geometry with the help of a picture 
it is very useful command you can create many types of drawings many types of projects with the help of sketch so sketch is also a very important factor to create any kind of geometry now let's select this sketch and select here extruded boss base now see now you can extrude your uh, twitter bird and uh, let's uh, give it's a little bluish i think uh, that's better okay so this is our twitter bird so i hope you like it don't forget to sh share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching